Welcome back to Just Let It Out. I'm DJ. I'm Alex. Today's segment, we're going to touch on a certain topic that um, I would really like to talk about, discuss. Um, I have this thing with going to the movie theater, and you're at the movie theater, you're with your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, maybe even your buddies. You're getting into your movie. Yeah. And, you know, you really don't know movie's good, you're getting into it. All of a sudden, Wah! Wah! Yeah. All kinds of loud. Now, yeah. I, I, you know, I understand, you know, you have it, but actually, no, I'll rephrase it. I don't understand. I don't get Why it. are you bringing your baby to the movie theater? Yeah. Can the baby tell what's going on? No, the baby doesn't know. No, okay, I, I thought I was missing something. No, you're not missing something. Oh, um, what's up with that? Help me out, brother. You know what, <laughs> I, I wish I could give you an answer. Some of it is probably baby moms. 18, 19 years old, thinking, oh, I can have a kid and still live my life. No. no. Not happening. I'm a dad. I got twins. I got two of them. Your shit is over. Over for at least the first three years. You don't go to the movies. You don't go out drinking. You don't go hanging out with your friends. It doesn't happen. You don't have kids yet. You're going to find out. Yep. Yep. And when I do have kids, I will know that unless I have a sitter, I'm not going to be able to go to the movies. It is annoying. No offense against the baby, but come on, you're an adult. Well, you should be if you're having a child, but then again, there's children having children. Uh, they, yeah, we touched on that. You know, but, I mean, for Pete's sake, man, what, I mean, what is the matter with you people? There's other people, be considerate. There's other people enjoying the movie, and you're bringing your child in, you know, your child may even be uncomfortable. It might be too cold in the damn theater for them. Or too or, loud. Or too loud, exactly. Their little ears, they, they can't talk, so what are they going to do? Cry. That's all they can do. They it, scream, they screw the movie up for me, screw the movie up for you. You know? And there's just no excuse for it. No. It's, it's, not to me, it's not only being an irresponsible person, it's being an irresponsible parent. Yes, thank you very much. It's like you, know, you said, the kid doesn't know what the hell's going on. They're in this room, there's a hundred other people in there, right. they're barely out of the womb, maybe, you know, at the oldest maybe a year or so. I think after about the, I think after about age three, you can start taking kids to kid movies. movies. Exactly. You know, not adult movies where there's explosions and screaming and murder and death and violence and everything else that goes on in adult movies. You don't need anyone, obviously there's a rating system for a reason. Exactly. Because my kid doesn't know what's going on. Exactly. So why bring them? Exactly. Find a babysitter. If you don't have a babysitter, you stay your ass at home. Thank you. Okay? Wait for it on DVD. We had to. Huh? You know, you know how many damn movies I missed because we had kids? And I'm not complaining about my kids. I love them to death. We missed a ton of movies. Yeah. And, you know, you know that's just this word. Look it up if you're not sure what it is or if you're confused. It's called responsibility. Yeah. If you're responsible enough and you could have opened your legs real nice and easy, yeah. you got to deal with what happens afterwards. Yeah, exactly. You've got, you got to pay the piper. Yeah, exactly. You know? And if you don't want a kid and you don't want to give up everything that you want to do, you know, single people, and I was, you know, 19, 20, 21 once, I loved to run around, party like hell. You know, we partied like rock stars. Yeah. And we went crazy. And, yeah. But I had no kids. And I made sure, guys, wrap your business up. Women, close your legs. That's it. You know, it's not... That Tell a brother no! You, it's okay to say no. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's other ways. Your mom, your head. Yeah. You know, if you got to hook your brother up, hook him up. There's other things you can do. I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's just, it's... Oh, it boggles my mind. Drives me crazy. I mean, we don't make it. It's not like we're making you pay an extra ticket for the child. Yeah, I paid an extra ticket. I'm going to bring my child in it. No! You are destructing other people. And then... You know what kills me is one time, you know, I, it wasn't me. I wanted to say something, but it wasn't me in the theater. Some, I was in the theater. Some other gentleman, I'm not even sure what the quote w w was mentioned because I'm trying to watch the movie. Mm -hmm. And some gentleman said something, and the, the woman went bananas. Oh, I'm really cussing it. Who's that telling my bitch? You know, what do you expect? Yeah, like it was his fault she got knocked up and brought the kid to the theater. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. come on. You know, it's just, it's not right, don't, you know, you're, you're, you're going to cause drama, it's not fair to other people, just, you know, be, hold off for a year or two, or until you can find a sitter. You have your mother, which hopefully is the baby's grandmother, or baby's got to have, and if not, then, you know what, that's a consequence you got to deal with. Stay home on the couch, rent the DVD, there's nothing wrong with it. That's right. 
That's what you got to do when you got kids. You know, you don't go anywhere. And you know, it's the same not only movie theaters. We hear it in restaurants. Yeah. We're going to go out and have a nice dinner. Until, like you said, the kids start screaming their head off. And now, not only are you having a miserable time, but so am I, so is he, so is everybody else in, that, in, the, in the restaurant. Yeah. You, you know what? That's exactly right. I understand. Oh, we've been cooped up in the house. Uh, let's take the baby and go out to dinner. No. No. Order takeout. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to cook? Fine. Order some takeout. Have your husband. Go get some. Take your van and be like, look, uh, baby, I'm holding the baby. I'm dealing with the baby. Go get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? If he loves you, he loves you, tell him go get something to eat and come bring it back. And there's probably some of you, well, I don't have a man. I don't have, I'm not with the baby daddy. Well, not our fault. Well, yeah, ex uh, then again, there you go. Don't make us pay for it. Exactly. Why make us, society, other people pay for it? It's just, it's not fair. And honestly, it's not fair to that child. No, it's not. It's really not. Because your child is miserable, uncomfortable, the child is going to probably stay uncomfortable until you decide to go home. Yeah. And, and, you know, what kind of kid is that kid going to grow up to be? Exactly. You he's know, going to grow up to be a little thug, a little hoodlum, and, you know, he's going to be 19 with his own kid, or she's going to be 19 with her own kid, bringing their kid to the movie theater, and then the cycle just repeats itself, exactly. and you're pissing more people off. Yeah, exactly. Please, stop the cycle. Stop the cycle. <laughs> Break the chain. Break the, that's right. Break the chain. By the way, we're on our second one. Yeah. Loving it. Just to let you know. <laughs> um, I guess we're about to wrap it up. I'm trying to think if I could, uh, I'm not, without repeating myself, it's just, please, yeah, you I know, can, be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, be considerate of other people. Give a damn, even if you don't give a damn about yourself, or you don't give a damn about your kid, give a damn about the people around you, because they're going to let you know about it. And like he said, don't you dare, don't you dare get mad when somebody has the nuts to stand up and say something. That's right. All right, I'm out, dude. Uh, me too.